Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will see important MCQs on research methodology. So, let's get started. The first question is, which technique is generally followed when the population is finite? Option A. Systematic sampling technique. Option B. Purposive sampling technique. Option C. Area sampling technique. Option D. None of the above. The correct answer is Option A. Systematic sampling technique. Systematic sampling technique is generally followed when the population is finite. Next question. Which one is called non-probability sampling? Options are quota sampling, cluster sampling, systematic sampling and stratified random sampling. The correct answer is option A, quota sampling. Quota sampling is called as non-probability sampling. Question 3. Scale measurement has a natural zero. The options are option A, ratio, option B, nominal, option C, ordinal, option D, interval. Correct answer is option A, ratio. The ratio scale measurement has a natural zero. Next question. Cluster sampling, stratified sampling and systematic sampling are types of Option A. Direct sampling Option B. Indirect sampling Option C. Random sampling and Option D. Non-random sampling Correct answer is Option C. Random sampling Cluster sampling, stratified sampling and systematic sampling are types of random sampling. Question number 5. A complete list of all the sampling units is called. Option A. Sampling design. Option B. Sampling frame. Option C. Population frame. Option D. Cluster. Correct answer is Option B. Sampling frame. A complete list of all the sampling units is called sampling frame. Next question. The split half method is used as a test of Option A. Stability Option B. Internal Reliability Option C. Inter-observer Consistency and Option D. External Validity Correct answer is Option B. Internal Reliability the split half method is used as a test of internal reliability. Question number 7. What is a sampling unit? The options are Option A. The population Option B. The basic unit containing the elements of the population to be sampled Option C. All the individual elements of the final sample drawn together Option D. The method used to collect the sample. The correct answer is Option B. The basic unit containing the elements of the population to be sampled is a sampling unit. Next question. Which of the following is not a non-random sampling method? Options are Cluster sampling, quota sampling, convenience sampling and accidental sampling. Correct answer is Option A. Cluster Sampling Cluster Sampling is not a non-random sampling method. It is a random sampling method. Question number 9. When one examines the entire population instead of a subgroup of the population, this is called as Options are Sampling, Census, Population, Bias. Correct answer is Option B. Census. When one examines the entire population instead of a subgroup of the population, then this is called as census. Question number 10. Dash is a subset of. The options are sample and population. Option B. Population and sample. Option C. Statistic and parameter. Option D. Parameter and statistics. The correct answer is Option A. Sample and population. A sample is a subset of a population. 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन रैंडम सैम्पलिंग इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड ऑप्शन ए अवेलेबिलिटी सैम्पलिंग ऑप्शन बी प्रोबेशन सैम्पलिंग ऑप्शन सी प्रोबेबिलिटी सैम्पलिंग ऑप्शन डी प्रोस्पेक्ट सैम्पलिंग करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी प्रोबेबिलिटी सैम्पलिंग रैंडम सैम्पलिंग इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज प्रोबेबिलिटी सैम्पलिंग क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेल्व स्केल इन विच द रिस्पॉन्डंट डिरेक्टली कंपेयर्स टू और मोर ऑब्जेक्ट्स एंड मेक्स चॉइसेस अमंग देम इज ऑप्शन ए रैंकिंग स्केल ऑप्शन बी रेटिंग स्केल ऑप्शन सी ग्राफिक स्केल एंड ऑप्शन डी नन ऑफ दीज करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए रैंकिंग स्केल द स्केल इन विच द रिस्पॉन्डंट डिरेक्टली कंपेयर्स टू और मोर ऑब्जेक्ट्स एंड मेक्स चॉइसेस अमंग देम is called as ranking scale next question a part of population selected to know something about the population is called option a sampling option b sample option c sampling technique option d all the above the correct answer is option b sample a part of the population selected to know something about the population is called a sample Question fourteen: The degree of freedom for paired t-test based on n pairs of observation is. Options are option A, two n minus one; option B, n minus two; option C, two into n minus one; and option D, n minus one. The correct answer is option D. The degree of freedom for paired t-test based on n pairs of observation is. n minus 1 last question which test is the part of the parametric test the options are option a sign test option b run test for randomness option c criskel willis test and option d z test correct answer is option d z test z test is the part of the parametric test Thanks for watching. If you find this video useful then please like share and subscribe my channel. Thank you.